Recipe Lion presents a JanetRoof.com KP Productions video tutorial on Caramel Apple Cheesecake Yummy yum! These are the items you will need to make a caramel apple cheesecake. Two spring form pans, an electric mixer, parchment paper, a large bowl, two bags of caramels, three eggs, four eight ounce packages of cream cheese, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one stick of butter, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, two cups of graham cracker crumbs, one and a third cup of sugar, one small can of Dutch apples, two tablespoons of sugar cinnamon, evaporated milk 12 ounces, two tablespoons of vanilla, one inch deep pan, water for the pan, one cup of sour cream, foil, two tablespoons of extra butter, a baking sheet, and a spatula. This is a double recipe. Cover the bottom of the spring form pans with parchment paper. Tuck in the extra paper under the pan, pulling it tightly. Double cover the bottom and sides of spring form pan with foil. Grease the bottom and sides of the spring form pan well with butter. Melt one stick of butter in the microwave or on the stove top. Combine the melted butter and the cinnamon and two tablespoons of sugar with the graham cracker crumbs. Add more melted butter if needed. You want to pack the mixture into the bottom of the spring form pan and you want to go up the sides about an inch from the bottom of the pan, packing graham cracker crumbs all the way up. Place the spring form pans in an inch baking sheet and bake at 350 for about 10 minutes. This will crisp up the um, crust. Then you want to cool it. On low heat, melt the caramels and evaporated milk. Stir the mixture until it's melted, and this may take a while, so be patient. Pour half the caramel mixture to cover the bottom of the spring form pan, and you want to sprinkle about half the chopped pecans over top of all the caramel. Combine the cream cheese, sugar, cornstarch, and sour cream in a bowl, and mix it until it's just combined. Add the vanilla and mix it until the mixture is like fluffy, creamy. Add the eggs and mix until it's just combined. Then you're going to stir in the apples and three tablespoons of flour. Stir it by hand. It's better if you blend it. It's not going to taste right. Pour the mixture into the spring form pan about halfway up. That should be enough to cover it. And spread it evenly between the two pans. Place the spring form pans in the baking tray and fill them with water. And this prevents the caramel from burning and getting really hard. Bake for 40 minutes in an oven that's preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Reheat the caramel and spoon over the cheesecake. It'll spread out because it'll heat up and just kind of even out. You sprinkle the remainder of the pecans over the caramel cheesecake and you bake it for another 10 or 15 minutes just until the center set when you stick a toothpick in it. Remove the pan from the water and cool for about 15 minutes. Carefully remove the cheesecake from the pan and be sure to let it cool for at least three hours before you do this and also before you stick it in the refrigerator. If you don't, it'll get all watery and it won't taste right. And serve. I'm happy to be a part of RecipeLion.com. When you subscribe to RecipeLion.com, you're subscribing to the best resource on the internet for recipes and cooking tips. This video was brought to you by RecipeLion.com. Check them out too on YouTube. Happy baking!